Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And let's try to understand sequence function in Excel. In Excel, the sequence function generates a sequence of numbers based on certain parameters provided. The formula for it is sequence into bracket rows, columns, star, and step. Rows. So it represents the number of rows in the sequence. The argument is required. Columns. The number of columns in the sequence. This argument is optional. If omitted, the default value is 1. Start. The starting value of the sequence. This argument is optional. If omitted, the default value is 1. Step. The increment between the numbers in the sequence. This argument is optional. If omitted, the default value is 1. Now, let's try to understand this sequence function in work. So for this, we will open the workbook and I'll write down here sequence n. This will generate a sequence of numbers in a vertical array with 10 rows and 1 column. Now let's modify this function and I will include here 10, comma, 10. This will generate a sequence of number in a 10 into 10 array, meaning it will create a table or a grid with 10 rows and 10 columns. Again, modify. Click here. 10, 5. Now, this will generate a sequence of numbers in a 10 into 5 array, meaning it creates a table or a grid with 10 rows and 5 columns. Now, let's go to another workbook. And here, I'll write down sequence n, comma, 1, comma, 20, comma, 5. Now, this will generate a sequence of 10 numbers in a single column, 10 numbers in a single column starting from 20 with the increment of 5 for each six subsequent number. I'll repeat again. 10 numbers, 10 numbers, this is 10 numbers, one single column starting from 20 and increment of 5. You can see. Now, let's again modify it. Now I'll write 10, 5, 50, and minus 1. So, it will generate a 10 into 5 array with numbers starting from 50 decreasing by 1 for each subsequent number arranged in rows and columns. You can see here. The sequence function can also work with the string strings. Activate the new workbook. And let me write down equal to. I'll introduce some strings. A, B, C, hyphen. Ampersand sequence ten and hyphen a enter. You can see the other parts of the string are as it is, the number changes. Now, let's see the another thing. We'll go again, go in the new workbook, zoom it, and, let, and we'll take one more example that we are having students. The name of the students are John, Harry, Miss Anne. And we want to give the unique ID to all these students. So I'll write down here ID. And I want to give a unique ID. 
So this sequence uh, of, uh, function can also be used for the uh, credit card number generation, which will generate a unique ID uh, in some pattern. So sequence count A into bracket A is to A. So basically we are talking about the first column. Minus one, comma one, comma hundred, comma ten. Now let me explain this. It creates a sequence based on the number of non-empty cells in column A. So it calculates the number of non-empty cells in column A and subtracts it with one. Why? Because we want to subtract the header. Uh, now press enter. Done. So you can see 100, 110, 120. Now there is a new uh, student in our class. Let us see that it is generating the unique ID or not. And the uh, name of the student is Kevin. Enter. Done. One more. Let's see. Uh, Dorothy. Done. So it's generating the unique ID. The next thing which I want to do is I want to create the odd and even numbers. So I'll write down here odd and even. Let's enter sequence into bracket 10, comma 2. So 10 numbers and 2 columns. Done. Uh, sorry, 10, 10 rows and 2 columns. So you can see odd and even numbers have been generated quite nicely. Let's go into the new workbook. And this time, we'll see that the uh, sequence command work for the date functions or not. Sequence. Then give the space and enter today. Enter. So it gives some the some numbers. No need to worry. Select all of them. Go here and activate the sort date. And you can see the date has been generated starting from today because the today was specified. So 10 dates have been generated. Let's take one more example. I'll zoom the workbook. So I'll write down here the command sequence. Let's generate a calendar, right? Sequence. Five. Five rows. Seven columns. Why seven columns? Because seven big days. And starting from today, close the bracket, enter, done. So it has given me some numbers again. I have to change this. So, what I'll do, I'll select it. Uh, I'll go in more number formats, click on date. In that, also, I'll click on customs. And I don't want the year in my calendar, right? So, I'll only keep the date and month. The date click okay done we are having all the dates now we want to give the name to uh, give the name to this weekdays how we can give it so the function is we'll have to activate one function which is uh, text so please write down text and b3 why b3 because our date starts from b3 and it ends at here s3 so H3 and D, 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 enter. So today is Thursday, 7 December. 7 December 2023 is a Thursday and it has given me the weekdays also. Now I want to color this calendar. So is it possible? Yes, it's possible. I can pick up the color from here and I can make the interesting. So the calendar is ready using the sequence function. So this was all about sequence function in MS Excel for 
more videos on MS Excel, please subscribe my channel so that you can refer all the videos in my playlist. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram, link given in the description box.